Each year, millions of Americans venture outdoors. Whether it's a trip to the local park, hiking their favorite trail, or camping in the wilderness, chances are that at some point they'll encounter poison ivy. It's estimated that 85% of the population is allergic to poison ivy, and as many as 50 million people are affected each year. Treatment for the dermatitis caused by exposure to poison ivy usually comes in the form of a steroid cream. And while the reaction rarely requires hospitalization, it can be painful and leave scars. I am the research leader for the Natural Products Utilization Research Unit in Oxford, Mississippi. We are housed in the National Center for Natural Products Research. This center is probably the largest concentration of natural products chemists in the country. And as a result, we are uniquely housed to work with our university partners to direct some of the research toward agricultural needs and objectives. It's partnerships like this, working alongside academia, where some of the greatest discoveries are made. One of the professors here at the University of Mississippi, Dr. Mahmoud El Soli, and a chemist in his group, came up with the idea of developing therapeutics that could be used to manage this nasty contact dermatitis infection or rash that you see. And they produced a series of analogs and from that process they developed something that could be used therapeutically like a, a desensitizer to the allergic reaction. The product has begun FDA trials and if approved could mean that 50 million future outdoor adventures don't end up with a case of poison ivy dermatitis.